Welcome back beer tubers. Today we're taking a look at a beer from The Alchemist out of Vermont and this is Luscious. It's a different beer they can. I know they've been canning some more beers. I mean I know it started with just Teddy Topper but I know they've been branching out to doing some different stuff so thanks to my buddy Joel I was able to get a can of, of Luscious, their uh, Russian Imperial Stout to try. Uh, apparently this beer used to be released in bottles and it was part and it was aged on oak and now it's just uh, stainless steel fermented beer that comes in a 22 ounce can. So I got it poured out. It's black, opaque, can't see through it. Um, alcohol legs are on there. Uh, kind of swirl up a, a nice just brown head on the beer. So let's get the aroma. Yeah, it smells good. It smells like a Russian Imperial Stout. Uh, it smells very big, a lot of huge dark malts. Kind of like a mix between like Stone IRS and Founders Imperial Stout. Kind of what I, it kind of reminds me of on the nose. That, that big, deep, uh, bitter chocolate that mixed with sweet chocolate notes. I, I don't really get coffee. I get more chocolate. I get a lot of dark fruit character on there. Cherry, uh, like caramelized raisins. You definitely get a caramel malt characteristic coming through some sweet breadiness, uh, some alcohols on the nose, but it's not too bad for 11%. Yeah, a lot of dark fruits, um, figgy, raisiny sort of notes, like a lot of special bee malt, something like that kind of character coming through. So let's give it a try, cheers. Yeah, it, it follows the nose pretty well. Definitely has a lot of that dark fruit character coming through. Up front, big sweetness. Uh, midway through, it, it starts to dry out a bit and the finish definitely is dry. Those dark malts are kind of helping out, dry out the beer. And uh, adds a slightly sweet tilted uh, balance. Um, not really picking up some hop, maybe a little bit of hop character on the nose. Some kind of like earthiness in there, or maybe a little slight pininess or something like that. But um, it's a pretty well balanced beer for the style, which you kind of expect to have some sweetness to it. Up front is big, sweet, bready caramel, and uh, like a sweeter cherry note, uh, sweeter raisin note. Uh, that that and the midway kind of adds like a drier kind of dark fruit character like dried raisins dried plums and figs kind of come through in the middle as it starts going towards the dry side which um, then kind of turns into this semi-sweet chocolate note on the finish um, definitely mix of like that sort of bitter chocolate sweet chocolate type of note um, not really picking up a ton of smokiness, not picking up really a whole lot of like a coffee note. So it, I, I think it leans towards that dark fruit chocolate side of Russian Imperial Stout. The beer has a nice mouthfeel to it. I don't know if they're adding oats or some wheat or something like that, but it definitely has a creaminess to it or even lactose for that matter. But um, yeah, it has a nice creaminess to it. It's not overly, uh, sweet and cloying and too thick of a mouthfeel. I think for drinkability reasons, it's it's just right where it should be, medium full body, um, with enough dryness to add drinkability to the style. So it's just not this big, sweet, cloying, boozy bomb. Um, you will pick up a little bit of alcohol notes on the finish, but not too much. It's It doesn't really burn as it goes down. So um, I don't know how old this can is, so I don't know how long it's aged, but um, it's a really nice drinking uh, Russian Imperial Stout from a brewery that's known for a double IPA. So obviously they can make some other other beers at the Alchemist that are uh, very nice and this is one of them. have no idea about uh, availability or uh, when they even brew this, if this is a season or not. I didn't do a whole lot of research on it. But uh, big thanks to Joel for letting me check it out and getting a review out to you guys. Uh, that's going to wrap it up. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.